Hi everyone, and welcome back to another one of the best school years ever. I'm Mr. Hannah, and with me are two other members of our middle school band team. Ms. Asti to my left, and new this year, Mr. Ciola. In this video, we'll be addressing students that have elected the Online Learning Academy as well, as showing you how the life of a hybrid learner in the middle school classroom will work. For those of you that have elected the Online Learning Academy, we will miss having you in band class. While you won't formally be participating in band this year and communicating with us on a regular basis, please keep playing your instrument. When the time comes, we want you to be ready to rejoin your band as fluently as possible. Please continue to use our website resources such as fingering charts, help guides, scale wars, and Olympic Rhythm Relay. Many private lesson instructors have also continued virtual and in-person lessons that would help you continue to excel as a musician. We still consider you a part of our band family, and we look forward to you contributing to the success of your group very soon. Hi, I'm Mr. Siola. I'm new to the district this year. Very excited to get to know all of you. Given the current state of our world, we as directors have done extensive research and reviewed multiple resources to make sure that our students and their families are kept as safe as possible. We have put together a number of safety protocols that will be followed on a regular basis in the middle school band classroom. First, let's take a look at some of the changes around the band room. Physical distancing is a requirement this year, and in the band room, you can see that every chair is six feet from the other chair, and everybody will be facing forward. In this case, the maximum amount of students we'll have in any rehearsal space is only 25, so you always have less than 25 students in one space. So if you're not in the band room, you will be on stage. If you're not on stage, you'll be in the band room with one of the teachers. As far as lockers go, as you look around the room, the lockers are empty right now. This is the way the lockers will look typically on Tuesday once you leave and on Friday once you leave. So once the end of the day happens, you take your instrument home at the end of a Monday, Tuesday, and at the end of a Thursday, Friday, which means you will not be sharing lockers with a Monday, Tuesday student or a Thursday, Friday student. If you have an instrument that is school owned, it will be your own instrument this year. You will not have to worry about sharing that instrument with another student in another grade. It will be permanently assigned to you and you only. Now, let's take a look at some of the changes that we have to make to our instruments to make us safe and in the classroom. The very first thing that's new this year that you're not familiar with is what we call a bell cover. Bell covers need to be multi-layered in a non-stretching material that you can either purchase online, you can purchase in a music store, and it actually covers the front of the bell of the instrument, whether it's a clarinet, or if it is a trumpet, there goes my ligature, or a trombone, or a tuba, they make bell covers for them all. So if you look at that, it goes right on the end of your instrument like so, and you're able to play. Now you ask, how oh, Mr. Hannah can I play with a mask on? Well, don't worry, they also make accommodations for those. So you'll remove your mask that you wear daily, and you'll be using what we call an instrument mask. When you put this on, it has an opening in it where your mouthpiece will be able to go in. So if you play the trumpet, you'll be able to put this on, hold up your trumpet, and be able to get the mouthpiece located right there, and you'll be able to play. Now, percussion, none of this applies to you. You'll be able to use your regular mask in class, and you don't need any instrument covers. For flutes, flutes are a little bit different than actually any of the other instruments. You will get a special mask, which I don't have yet, that actually the flute will be able to insert it over here, and it covers this entire thing while you're playing which is where the air is actually distributed. So your mask will be a little bit different as well. And you can actually use a baby sock right on the end to cover the end of your flute, or they make little covers for that as well. So you are safe while playing. There are eight requirements for students to participate in band at the middle school. First, a parent or guardian must complete the online student info form by Thursday, August 27th. The link for the student info form can be found in the middle school band handbook. Second, students will need their instrument in good working condition on Monday, September 14th. Please do not bring in instruments before Monday, September 14th. If your student is in need of an instrument repair, please contact Royalton Music Center or Reddick Music as soon as possible. Next, as previously mentioned, all students except percussionists 
will need a bell cover and a face mask. Students will need miscellaneous supplies associated with their given instruments such as valve oil, reeds, drumsticks, and mallets. Make sure to label all of your supplies with your first and last name. Percussionists, please note that all percussionists are required to have soft rubber mallets. Most of these mallets come with light green or black heads. There are three requirements left for students that will be participating in middle school band. All students will need a pencil, the Tradition of Excellence book or books for their band, and all students will need to join their band's Google Classroom. Sixth graders are required to have Tradition of Excellence book one. This book is red in color and is the same book that was used last school year. Seventh graders are required to have two books, Tradition of Excellence book one, as that they used last school year, as well as Tradition of Excellence Book 2, which is blue in color. Eighth graders are also required to have two books, Tradition of Excellence Book 2, which they used last school year, as well as Tradition of Excellence Book 3, which is green in color. Please make sure that you are purchasing the appropriate book for your student's instrument. To join the appropriate Google Classroom, students must click on the appropriate link located in the band handbook. In summary, a parent or guardian needs to complete the online student info form by Thursday, August 27th. Students will need the following in class on Monday, September 14th. Their instrument in a good working condition. Supplies such as reeds, valve oil, sticks, and mallets. A bell cover for their instrument. A face mask with an opening for the mouthpiece for the instrument. A pencil, the required method book, the tradition of excellence, or books for band class. And they will also need to join the respective Google Classroom. Please make sure you have labeled all your supplies with your name on them. As a staff, your student safety is a priority to us, and thus band will look and sound different this school year. We are still very excited to continue music education for our students, and we are looking forward to the unique experiences and opportunities in our curriculum over the next couple months. From here, you can click on the link to view this year's band handbook, which allows you to access the student's info form that is due by August 27th. The handbook also details information on required materials for band class that are needed by September 14th for all letters of the alphabet. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us.